Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kay and today I'm going to be doing the VIP questions tag, um, which is the visually impaired person's tag. So, question number one. What medical condition caused you to be blind or visually impaired? Um, so I have albinism, which is kind of obvious from looking at me. Um, albinism means that I don't have pigment in my hair, skin, or eyes. I put it on my face when I said hair. My hair, skin, or eyes. I know that. Question two. In three words, describe your vision. Ugh. <laughs> if you're blind, you know that describing your vision is like the most annoying thing ever. Um, it's hard because like I don't know how sighted people see, so I don't know how to compare. Okay, so my vision is unreliable, inconsistent, and not detailed, even though that's two words. Lacking, I don't know. What's the word for not having, not details? And we'll say that's a word. We'll say that's a word. We'll count it. Um, <laughs> three. What is the hardest thing to do being blind or visually impaired? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I definitely have an answer to this question. And I'm for sure going to talk about it in a future video because I think it's so important. This is going to be like a nerdy answer. You're not going to like this. Um, but I would definitely say the hardest thing to do is just um, overcome the stereotypes that other people have for you. And this is gonna sound so NFP, but like, I'm sorry. It's what I, it's, it's truly what I believe. So, <laughs> um, like for me, at least, I think it would be different if I wasn't born blind, but I was born with the condition that I have. So for me, like, this isn't, like I'm used to it. Like, it's fine. I've done this my whole life. Like. Yeah, they're hard, but like overall, I'm fine. Um, but then I feel like, um, like not for me. For other people, look at me and they're like, "Oh, you couldn't possibly do anything ever," and you know, "Oh, it's just let's just shelter you and don't do this, don't take the hard class, don't challenge yourself, don't go on that trip. Like just just stay in this little tiny piece of bubble wrap I have for you," and it's so annoying. And I think that also I think this because I'm young, because in school like constantly not anymore which again i'll talk about in like another video because it's, it's a big thing but um like k through 12 school like all the time people were just telling me that i couldn't do things and it was so frustrating and um you know at first i used to believe them and then i learned as i got older that you know no <laughs> they're wrong they just don't know what they're talking about but um yeah it's it's hard when you're a kid and People are constantly telling you that you're not good enough and you're not capable and you know that you are. <laughs> um, so for me, that, that would be the hardest thing, but also like I've already seen that that's changing in college. So I think, you know, 10 years from now, I'll probably say something different and a more like legitimate answer. Um, but certainly uh, at this stage of my life, or at least at the stage of my life that I just did, that is how I feel. All right, question four. What is the best part about being blind or visually impaired? Um, that's a better question. Uh, what do I think? I think that it certainly is um, the people that have gotten to meet from it and like the fun things we've gotten to do. Um, you know, I've done a bunch of like blind camp and it's fun. Like <laughs> I've made my best friends like, you know, are blind and um, you know, I wouldn't have these opportunities if I was sighted. Uh, that said, um, the reason why I love, you know, my blind friends so much is that we have this, this really serious thing in common. So, like, if I wasn't blind, I wouldn't really have the need for blind friends because, like, I would have that bond with sighted people. Um, which I guess, okay, I'll say this is another thing. Like, it's definitely a bonding thing if you're blind because, like, you just have this unique experience that <laughs> so few other people do that when you meet other blind people, it's, like, can be an instant connection because you just, you feel like you've known them your whole life because they're blind to it. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll say the people and the relationships that I've gotten from it. Question five. What question do you get asked most about um, or because of your vision? Um, I mean, like, definitely I get asked most about my dog. Like, as soon as you get a dog, no one cares about you anymore, and it's all about your dog. Um, like, everyone will come up to you all the time and ask you your dog's name and their age and everything about your dog, and you'll find like people don't even ask you what your name is anymore when they meet you they'll just ask for your dog's name and everything about your dog and it's like 
Okay, so that's the biggest question I get asked. Um, yeah, I don't know if that counts. I'm saying it counts. He's my guide dog, like he counts. Um, question six, do you have a cane, a guide dog, or neither? Okay, obviously I have a guide dog. Um, before I got him, I had a cane. Um, the policy is that if you want a guide dog, you have to be a proficient cane user first. And I was, I was a cane user. I loved that cane. It was great. We had good times together. Um, I loved my cane so much. It was great. Like, yes. Um, but it was time to move on because the canes really had limitations that the dog um, does not. Sorry, I keep gesturing to my dog. He's on the floor. You can't see him. Um, but yeah. So yeah, no. Both, but I mean, not at the same time. <laughs> um, question seven. What one piece of advice would you give to someone who is losing, going to lose, or has lost their vision? Okay, that's like three different questions mushed into one. Sorry if you hear my dog drinking water now. He just finished his con. Um, okay, one piece of advice for someone like losing or going to lose your vision, I would say, like, I haven't experienced that, so my advice, you know, like, take it with a big grain of salt. But, um, I would really just say, like, it's fine you're going to be fine that said you're losing something that's very important to you so obviously you're gonna grieve and like I'm not gonna judge you at all if you're like you know obviously grieving because you have to do that but I just like <laughs> he wants attention but I would just tell you that when you're done grieving it'll be okay like you'll be fine I'm fine so you'll be fine and that's not to minimize what you're going through but just to like realize that like it's okay um I tend to think that everything is like gonna be completely catastrophic always, so I'm sure if I was in that situation, I would feel that way. So yeah, um, someone who has lost their vision, you just just own it, like you know, like just do everything you can do and have fun and just go for it. You know, do whatever you want to do, have fun. <laughs> yeah, don't let it stop you. Uh, I mean, like, you know, don't do stupid things, don't drive, but you know, I trust you. You're not stupid. Um, question eight. What is one piece of advice you <laughs> my dog? Hi. He wants all the attention in the world to always be on him. Okay, um, what is one piece of advice you would give to a sighted person about interacting with a blind person or person who's visually impaired? Okay, so I'm doing a whole video on this, but by the way, this is his favorite toy. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Can you tell it's like this little raindrop and it's angry and it squeaks. It's like, ugh, it's so gross. Okay, um, hopefully he lets me finish this video. He's like playing, he's adorable. Okay, so, what is one piece of advice? No, I did that one. Um, what is one piece of advice? See him? You're crazy. I'm so sorry. See why are you playing with the loudest toy? <laughs> he's so cute, you guys. Yeah, see Okay, um, I'm sorry, just to ignore him. <laughs> um, what is one piece of advice you would give to a sighted person about interacting with a person who is blind or visually impaired? Okay, I'm most certainly going to make a whole video on this because it's such an important topic and I have so much to say. But this is asked for one piece of advice, so that's what I'll give. So, is one piece of advice, ask. Ask, ask me. That's what, that's, that's your advice. Don't run up to me and grab me and drag me across the street. Come up to me and say, hi, uh, it appears that you're trying to cross the street. Is Would you like me to help you with that? Like 99 times out of 100, I will say no, because like, guess what? I'm an adult, I know how to cross the street. Like, I don't need help. Occasionally, I will need help. Normally, if I, well, always, if I do, I will ask someone. Um, but if you happen to catch me and ask me first, Fine. I'll say um, yes I do need help or I'll say no I don't if I say no don't get offended don't it's fine I said no then that's just okay just go on with your day um so many people get offended and it's like it, like I you know and that's not personal like I just don't need help right now like if you asked everyone at this corner if they needed help crossing the street that's probably what they would say too sorry for the squeaky just ignore but um yeah so like don't get offended if I say no, just be like, all right, like, great, you know how to do that yourself, that's awesome, good for you, you know, whatever. Um, you shouldn't want me to need help. If I say yes, then don't say, okay, 
and then drag me across the street. Say, okay, what can I do to help you? Also, I would say, okay, I'm gonna let me know when it's safe to cross. I'll, you know, go or say you're showing me where the bathroom is or whatever. I'll say, he's so, he's so silly. I love him. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for the noise. He's playing with like his loudest toy. Um, but I would say, you know, okay, um, I'll have my guide dog follow you. I just need you to, you know, walk with me, maybe like a half step ahead, and we'll just talk casually, and and so he'll know that we're following you. Um, or if I don't have a guide dog, I'll say, okay, thank you. May I hold your arm? Whatever it is, whatever's happening, just, just ask. Just, just come up to me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't do anything. Just say hi. Would you like help? That's it. Um, yeah. Really, like, there's nothing wrong with admitting you don't know and just asking. That's literally the best thing you can do. And I will make a whole video about um, other things because, like, there are a lot of other things. But, like, that's really the core of it all and of all of life. Just ask. Just ask. Just be like, hey, what do you want? Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll solve my rant. Question nine. This is, like, the last one. So, nine. What? Bleh. <laughs> I got lost. Just a second. <laughs> Question nine. Why did you join YouTube? Okay, um, that's what my last video was about, but I joined YouTube just to give advice to people in the same situation, to find people to relate with, um, you know, talk about relatable stories, um, it definitely happens when you're blind, sorry, my dog is a dog, hi, um, so, yes, okay, this is, this is what he's been playing with this whole time, it crinkles, here, okay, so, why did I join YouTube? I joined YouTube. I'll show you him when I'm done. I joined YouTube to um, just share my story as a visually impaired person, hopefully um, to help people going through things that I went through and then also just to relate to other people um, going through the same thing as me. Um, the blind community is super awesome and uh, it's just great to be part of it. I just feel like I have so much to talk about with all this like blind stuff and then dog stuff and I just, I need to talk about it, so let's do it. Um, last question is just name three people to the tag next. Um, I don't know, I'll just say like whoever wants to, like if you want to do it, do it. Um, comment a link to it and I'll watch it and we can chat about things we have in common and it'll be super fun. But yeah, just 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 you, everyone, whoever wants to do it. And if you related to anything in this video, make sure to comment. We can tell each other stories and laugh about it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go play with my dog. It's adorable. I hope you guys are all having a great day, whatever you're doing. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yay. Are you so happy? Ready? Good boy. <laughs> this is what he's been doing this whole time. <laughs>